In this video, I'd like to go over a little bit more as far as WooCommerce is concerned, that if you want to use your WordPress site to actually sell items or anything along those lines. So at this point, you have WooCommerce installed onto uh, your dashboard here, and you're going to have a lot of new options and things like that. One of the things, though, is whenever you're setting up WooCommerce is you're going to need to have your products set up. Now with the products, you actually have several items where you can either just click on products and you can create products right out of the gate. So you can click on this and it'll bring you up to an area that you can give your product a name. Now, one thing though to point out is depending on how you'd like this to work, you would like to perhaps categorize your products. So for instance, maybe I do cat toy and I'll add a new category. All right, so now I will do red ball for the name. And what's nice here too is notice how for your first product, WooCommerce takes you through everything here. So if I want to give a, a description here, so I'll say maybe a red ball that cats love to chase. Great way to get your cat to exercise. Now down at the bottom here, I have a couple of options. And maybe I'll say the regular price is $5. I'll also, you know, say as far as in stock, and am I going to have any type of specific sh shipping class, and so on and so forth. The last thing that you're going to also have an option to do is you can actually choose to add media. Now, for all of your different items, I would strongly encourage you, once you take the pictures, add them up as far as adding to your media library to move with the WordPress site. This does mean you're going to have a lot of media items popping up here as far as graphics are concerned, but it'll keep everything in one place. For demo purposes, I'm going to go ahead and choose this cat image. And I'm going to say insert into product. All right, so I've gone ahead, I've chosen my product type. We're going to pretend it's like a virtual bouncy ball. And now at this point we can actually preview just to see what it's putting out for us here. So here's the red ball. You can see here that it's actually added that media element here. So the last thing that we need to do is we just need to go in and add our image here. So let me go ahead and come back here. So last thing that we need to do is if you scroll down here, there's actually two items here. You can set a product image and then a product gallery image. So if I set the product gal or product image, I'll go ahead and choose our cat again and set product image. Now if we go ahead and go and preview, there you can see now, not only do you get the graphic to pop up, but WooCommerce does a lot of lifting for you as far as zooming and being able to look at the object here. So this is a great option here as far as working with all of your different items. And here you can see it takes you all the way back to the home page that if you wanted to come back home. So these are some great options available to you whenever you're working with your different elements here. So again, that's one of the things you wanna pay attention to when you're working with the WooCommerce is you wanna make sure that when you're setting up the products, number one, you are actually adding your products. And I would also strongly encourage you again, categorize your different products. But then outside of that, once you get the categories all set up here, you can then go in and start creating all your products and actually adding them to your web page.